Hey everybody. Um, I was contacted recently by a really nice lady with a company called Agritech, which is a new company. And they are producing electronic products, uh, mainly power stations. And she had seen, or someone in her office had seen a video of mine, uh, whereas I feature the power wagon and some of the products that I use. And she was interested, or she wanted to know if I was interested in reviewing Egritech's new Plume 300 power station. And I, after taking a look at it and doing a little bit of research, um, I was pretty impressed, so I told her, sure. And uh, they've sent me one, and the solar panel that goes along with it. Uh, there are several companies who have been sending me things and asked me to review, and I've, you know, I've, when I'm around the house, I, I've tried them out, you know, to check them out and look at them, but uh, it didn't take very long for me to, uh, to be impressed by this little device here. I'm going to unbox one for you and uh and show you a little about the Egritech plume 300 um, power station y'all might want to stick around this thing's got a lot of different applications to a lot of different kind of people watch this first of all it comes in a pretty small box <laughs> because it's a uh, it's a very small power station and um, immediately upon opening it up you uh you realize that it comes uh, real neatly packaged um, in the box. It's got uh, these little cushions across the top. Um, well, I'll show you here. It's got uh, a little leather handle that uh, goes on it. It's got a very detailed owner's manual. Uh, actually, <laughs> one of the most detailed owner's manuals I've ever seen that came with a product. Um, but this is the uh, this is the Agritech Plume 300, and as you can see, it's pretty small. Now, even though the Agritech comes in, uh, you know, with this owner's manual, which is very detailed, one thing I thought was kind of cool was that you have a quick start guide right here on the back of the box that explains the basic operation of the plume and shows, uh, you know, all its different ways of charging and which ports are charged with what. Uh, it gives you a charging port description right here. And I just thought that was kind of cool. Now digging a little further inside the box, we, uh, we find this neat little uh, pouch of cords and everything. It's got a cigarette lighter plug. There's actually four ways to charge it. And they do supply you with all the plugs. It's got a shoulder strap inside here. That you can uh, that you can mount onto it on these uh, little brackets. You can actually put this leather strap on there, or you can use the shoulder strap. Either one. But uh, on top of that, it's got the USB-C charging cable right here, and it's also got um, the cable that comes out of the brick, you know, the charging brick, and these two go together. And then this, of course, is the shoulder pad that works with the shoulder strap. So you have, either way, you can use the shoulder strap or the little hand carrying strap to carry the uh, little tiny Agritech. Now, I use the term little tiny, but let me tell you something. This thing's capability is not little tiny. I'm going to show you some of that here in just a minute. But before we move forward, let me show you the coolest thing. I mentioned the size of the Agritech Plume 300. Watch this. It fits right into the average saddlebag on a motorcycle. Now its capability of going out, you have a 110 plug right here, uh, which again can use up to 300 watts. Uh, you have to activate that by hitting the AC on button right here below the power button. Um, and then, of course, it's got a couple of uh, USB-CA um, plugs right here for doing, like, phones and GoPro batteries and little appliances. Uh, you've got the, uh, the USB-C in, and it's also an out, and that'll give you 100 watts. That's, like, for your personal computer, 
things like that. It'll charge your lap, you know, your laptop, that sort of thing. And then there's another 20 watt uh, USB-C out right below it. And then over here you've got uh, the DC in, which is up to 100 watts. And then below it, you have a DC out, which is up to 36 watt. This thing's a very versatile little power station. Now, it doesn't have a cigarette lighter plug. That's the only thing it didn't have. And I assume that's the uh, only way they were able to keep it down to such a small size. But as you saw earlier in the video, this thing will fit inside the saddlebag of a motorcycle. Of, you know, say like uh, you adventure bikers that have always... Uh, you know, not carried power stations because they were so large and heavy are now, you know, you've got a power station you can carry with you. And I happen to have one of the solar panels and I'm gonna show you that to you in just a moment. All right, so right now I'm conducting a little load test out here outside. I've got uh, this um, Hot Logic Mini, which is a, a portable cooking pouch. Uh, hooked up to the Agritech through the 110 outlet. I've also got my cell phone and three GoPro batteries hooked up and uh, Simultaneously with the solar panel being connected so uh, Right now it has only drained it uh, about 5% and I've had all these hooked up for quite some time uh, it almost appears self-sustaining as if it's going to hold its own it seems to be taking in about 80 watts through the solar panel right now and using about 88 watts for all of this collectively so that's pretty impressive okay we're going to do another little discharge test here the plume 300 is at 100 percent i just finished charging it and i'm going to use this little low wattage fan and we're going to plug it in. All right, we'll turn on the AC. And the fan comes on. It's going to draw very low wattage. Right now it only says 4 watts. But we're going to let that run and see how long the plume will take to discharge fully with a very low output draw. Okay, there's where it has reached 0%. And it is currently Thursday, October 19th at 9.16 a.m. Now we're going to see how long it takes to recharge using the uh, 110 wall socket. And we'll plug it in now. While it's at zero percent, it is currently Thursday, October 19th at 9.16 a.m. Okay, it's been three hours, and I thought I'd just do a quick check on the Plume 300 to see where it's, uh, where it's at. It's at 63 percent, so it's charging about 20 percent per hour off of the little charging block right here that's plugged into the wall and it's uh its current is only actually 55 watts charging um, now when using the solar panel i had as much as 89 watts going into it so it be it would be safe to say that the uh, solar panel that came with the agritech which is optional will charge the uh, plume 300 faster than your wall socket will Okay, we just reached 100%. It is currently 2.49, as you can see. And the Plume 300 has maxed its charge at 100%. So that's what we're gonna use for our time. Okay, as you can see here, I've now got the Plume 300 out here at my trailer, uh, which is hooked to my motorcycle. This is my travel camper that I haul around camping. And the Plume 300 is at 100%. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to power this refrigerator off of it. Um, got it hooked up. I'm going to press the AC button to make it live. 
uh, right there and I'm going to leave that on here and see how long the plume will run the refrigerator but this will be interesting to see how long the plume would run my refrigerator on its own without any charge uh, going back in it and then of course before we get started too much we see there that it's settled at about 31 watts um, that's going to be about what it uses when it's keeping the refrigerator going and it's currently 310 p.m. as you can see on my phone on October 19th so we're going to see how long it goes until it depletes the plume all the way down to zero now the sun's coming out and we're starting to get a a much better uh, uh, ray here. There's 84, 85, 87, 88. Uh, we're getting 88 watts from this panel. Um, that is a very impressive number for a 100 watt uh, panel. In our most recent test, before we started charging this, uh, the plume here in the sun, we um, we left the refrigerator hooked up all night to it uh, which runs on anywhere between 20 and 40 uh, watts to see how long the uh, plume would keep it going would it keep it going all night um, this morning it was down to nine percent so it did keep the refrigerator going all night long which would put the uh, estimated watt hours up around 250 uh, right in that area 245 um, that's over 90% of its rated value. That's very good. But while we're waiting on that, I thought I might elaborate a little bit on uh, just my general thoughts about the Plume 300 so far. I have charged it and discharged it probably 20 to 25 times now. Uh, running different uh, items, household appliances. I've charged cordless screwdrivers, my uh, GoPro batteries. I've ran my Hot Logic Mini off of it, my 100 watt Hot Logic Mini, which it ran for two and a half hours at 100 watts uh, cooking something. So, in general, I'm able to uh, know that this thing has a, uh, its rated capacity is 268 watt hours, but I'm figuring that it is actually between 240 and 250, and that is a really good percentage. That's uh, you know that that's in the neighborhood of the low 90 percent um you know just over 90 percent of its uh of its rated watt hours but that's just really good um but some of my thoughts on some of its usages because of its size first of all as i've already mentioned the plume 300 is just a really impressive little device uh it fits in the saddle bag of a motorcycle it can be carried with the handle, and there's also an optional uh, shoulder strap that comes in the uh, comes in the box with it. it. Can be carried that way. I can just see so many uses for this. The adventure bikers can now have a power station when they haven't been able to take something because of weight. Uh, I see. Uh, oh, for instance, uh, people carrying it around in their car to have it for uh, backup for for power. I can see. Uh, the usage of, uh, say, for instance, a handicapped person who keeps one handy for having 110, uh, as it can, you know, power small medical devices, uh, oxygen machine, a CPAP machine. I think this would run a CPAP machine all night comfortably. Um, also, it would uh, probably recharge a small mobility scooter with enough power to get you back to your car, or you know, if it was to go dead, just keep it handy in the in the pocket and the utility pocket of your scooter uh, there's just so many uses for this thing as because of its size that just makes it such an impressive little device and to elaborate on that just a little bit more um, you know I spent many years on the road as a truck driver and I couldn't tell you how many times uh, you know, I would have my laptop with me and 
maybe be in the driver's lounge and everybody's already using up all the 110 outlets or you know there's just none available and the laptop suddenly gets down to around 10 percent and i'm worried about having to go all the way back out to my truck now i could be if you were just carrying one of these with you you could plug that laptop right into the usb-c 100 watt outlet and you'd be able to charge it right then so i mean this thing just has so many practical uses for so many people um and you know here's the great thing i haven't mentioned anything about the price of this right now you can get the Agritech Plume 300 for around $179.